Hello everyone. Today I will discuss assignment 11 for the course Fuzzy Set Logic and System and Application. Very simple assignment and we don't go have to for mathematics calculation. Question 1. Which of the following are not the building blocks? Actually all these are the building blocks of the Mamdani, Mamdani Fuzzy model. But uh, question is being asked in such a way that which of the following are not the building blocks. So correct answer is none of the above. The same type question is being asked in the last assignment, assignment 10, question number 10, right? So none of the above is the correct answer. Question number 2. Let us consider a Mamdani Fuzzy model rule. If x is a and y is b, then z is c. Okay. So in this question, there is only single rule. So if we look at the option, multiple rules. So this a and d option are automatically obsolete. Now we have to take care whether multiple antecedent or single antecedent, right? If x is a, then z is c. If this type of question will be there, then single antecedent. But in this question, if x is a, right, one antecedent, y is b, second antecedent. So single rule, multiple antecedent. So correct option is B, right? Uh, because in this, two antecedents are there. Question number three, let us consider rule one, rule two. So it is the question of multiple rule, right? So let us consider this one. If X is A and Y is B, then conclusion Z is C. So what it indicate? So single rule, both these options will be obsolete. Now we have to look whether it is single antecedent or multiple antecedent, right? X is A, one antecedent, Y is B, again, second antecedent. So it is a multiple antecedent and we have already two rules. That's why it is multiple rule and multiple antecedent. Option D is correct. Question four, if X is A and Y is B, then Z is C. And uh, for the input this, it is single rule, but um, multiple antecedent, right? And uh, this is the question. If X is A and Y is B, A dash and B dash, then Z is C. We have to calculate this. For this question, there are two weight, W1 and W2 are given. And what will be the value weight obtained using max mean composition? Generally, there are two types of composition, max mean and after that, uh, max product. So out of these two weight, what we have to take? We have to find out the minimum of them, right? So minimum is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And uh, because it is the question of single rule, but with multiple antecedent. That's for uh, out of these two weights, we have to consider the minimum value. And after that, we have to take the maximum. So in this case, there is only single value. Therefore, uh, correct answer is option B that is 0.5. If there would be a, another value like 0.6 right, uh, for the case. So in that case, we have to take the maximum of them, right? So this is the basically difference. Question number five, same question. Um, if X is A and Y is B, then Z is C. Uh, what will be the output for input X is A dash and Y is B dash. Right? Now in this case, weight are this one. W1 is 0.9 and W2 is 0.75. What will be the value of the weight obtained using max mean? So we have to again uh, apply the same formula. We have to take the minimum of them. So minimum value is 0 0.75, 0 0.75. So again, we have to take the maximum and maximum of this particular is only again single value that's why we have to take 0.75 so option a is correct one question number six so for the fuzzy model defined in question four what will be the weight obtained using max mean product composition so in that question there are two values uh, 0 0.75 0 0.75 and 0 0.50 right 0 0.75 one value and again another value is 0 0.5 so this is the case of max product right so first of all we have to multiply these two value when we will multiply so it again point uh, 0.375 and this value becomes 0 0.375 0 0.375 because there is only single value that's why this will be the 
final answer after a product we have to take the maximum value if there are multiple value so 0.375 will be the maximum value and option c is correct question number seven what will be the question number five in this case we have to consider question number five so in this case question number five using max product so values are i think 0 0.9 and 0 0.75 uh, 0 0.9 0 0.9 and 0 0.75 so multiply both this so this will becomes out 0.675 we have to multiply both these value and again uh, take the maximum because in this case there is only single value that's why it will be uh, that particular value will be the answer uh, 45.675 right question number eight so if the aggregated output of the Mamdani fuzzy model is trapezoidal so this is the trapezoidal model using the parameter 1356 so 1356 so at point 0.3 and 5 maximum membership value will be equal to 1 so what will be the defuzzification crips output value using mean of maxima so there are various techniques like mean of maxima smallest of maxima largest of maxima bisector of area center of gravity etc so mean of maxima matlab, it means mean we have to take the that particular value membership value where maximum mem mem membership value at particular point is 1 1 okay so 3 plus 5 right 3 plus 5 these are the points where membership value is 1 so we have to just uh, average of them 3 plus 5 that is 8 divided by 2 that is uh, 8 by 2 4 so correct answer will be 4 so option this will be the correct question number 9 same question but uh, we have to use the smallest of maxima out okay so at point number position that is at value 3 uh, maximum membership value is 1 so therefore this will be considered as the smallest of maximum so option a will be correct one in question number 10 what will the defugified crips value for the largest of maximum lom bolte hai in simple term lom som mom right so largest so in this case largest value is 5 at which maximum membership value is 1 therefore option c will be the correct one and i hope so uh, we will get 100 percent accuracy in this assignment also in last few seven to eight assignment we already having 100 percent accuracy and uh, already uh, we got uh, 25 marks in this course and definitely in time to come i will upload three to four videos with uh, which will explain fundamental concept and you can then get good accuracy in your final examination thank you so much for your love and support thank you